Okay, so let's try to do some examples here. I will uh, go with 2.3 first. So it says uh, there is a particle has an initial velocity of 2. So my recommendation for you to, to have a habit is, uh, at least in IB physics, is whenever you see a certain number like this one, you write the symbol represented. Okay, so like here, it should be, oh, not V, it should be U instead. And here is uh, A, actually they get given to you already, so it's actually fine, but I will still write A, and then uh, this is T, and you want to find S. So after you got this, uh, think about what equations you want to use. So by looking at uh, what we have earlier, I think we should have the second equation, which is s equal to ut plus half a t squared so still you should write it down and then what you do afterwards is uh, substitute what you know so s is unknown u is 2 t is 10 plus half 4 10 squared and then you just use your calculator to calculate so the answer is uh, 220 meter and don't forget the unit and basically that's it so uh, here I wrote a, a box say asking you what is uh, gas method here and let me introduce to you uh, the gas method it's actually a way that helped you to uh, organize and step by step to solve a calculation questions so this uh, five letters are actually the acronym of uh, five different things so let's think about what they are and you can reflect from the way that we do just now. So the first thing that we do from reading the question is uh, finding out what are given. So G is actually given. And then uh, maybe I'll use another color. Given. And then um, U is actually um, the unknown. So you need to find out what you want to know. So in our case will be S, displacement. And what do you think about E? E would be think of an equation that is relevant. So here that would be the equation that you need. Apparently if you try to look at uh, the data booklet or the list of equations that you know, you, on, you know that this is the most suitable equation because you, you don't have the information of V and therefore if you use other equation uh, then it would not be useful or you would take a longer time a lot more steps to find out the answer you can still work it out but just uh, much slower after you got the equation the next step will be substitution so basically putting down all the numbers that you know uh, some people would like to rearrange it so for example like uh, if you're trying to calculate v equal to u square v square plus equal to u square plus 2as and then somehow you want to find a some people like to rearrange it but i would say you don't have to you just have to substitute and then you can just solve it at the end and by the way yes the last letter is solve okay and uh, don't forget the unit of course so this is called the guess method i mean at the end of the day you may not remember the word guess but then you should pick up the habit of doing uh, by these five steps when you're doing calculation questions simple calculation question of course let's try the second ones you may want to pause the video and we'll check the answers later a few moments later okay so from uh, the questions you can then see you have u you have s you have v and you want to find a so the relevant equation if you try to double check with the equation that we said will be v squared equals to u squared plus 2as and then substitute whatever you know 2as which is 20. notice that uh, when i try to write down a and s like substitute a and s i use a bracket instead of this is um, personally i prefer using a bracket because x sometimes may be confused i think it's the same in mathematics also so uh, maybe you can try to start picking up if you haven't uh, using the bracket okay so after you use your calculator you should find the answer is a equals to 0 0.6 and the unit uh, one more thing that you may want to do is that when you read the 
given information, uh, you want to check whether the unit is SI unit. So you meter per second, meter, meter per second, all these are great. Instead of maybe they somehow give you something like km per hour or even mile per, per second or something like that. Uh, that it will be so strange. So here it will simply be meter per second square. If you're okay with what we have learned so far, I would like you to try the next three examples. So including 2.5, 2.6, and 2.8. You may want to pause the video and do it now. So let's take a look at the first question. You have U, T, V, and you want to find S. Okay, this is the same information. So the equation that you may want to use should be S. You can look up uh, that it should be V, sorry, S equal to U plus V over 2 times T. In fact, if you try to look into the physical meaning of this, uh, U plus V over 2 is basically the average velocity, given that acceleration is constant, so you have a linear change of velocity over time so then you have the average velocity here multiply with time then you can get the total displacement so this is a physical meaning behind but anyway to proceed then we can simply substitute all these things times t so six so after you use your calculator you should find the answer should be 48 meter Next question. So it says there are two balls start to moving to the right with a constant speed of this two. Okay, this is a bit different involving two objects. So the kinematics equation that we use are mainly for one object. And then the slower ball start to start first and the other one four second later. Determine the position when they met. So I think we have to uh, think about the position as in how much they move. And at the beginning there is a different in terms of position at the beginning which is that it starts first and the other one four second later so you can imagine for the first one then uh, which is four meter per second or you can try to draw a diagram because this one is a bit different so you have four meter per second that one go first and then five meter per second that one go later and then the separation, since it has a four second uh, difference of you know starting the other one, then you should have four times four, which is 60 meter of difference at the beginning. And since uh, the velocity, the relative speed, this one is not a very usual like, IB question, but then I think you should also be able to solve it, is the relative speed is actually one meter because uh, five minus four equals to one. That is the relative speed and so it will take uh, 16 actually you can just tell directly 16 seconds because apparently 16 meter divided by 1 meter per second is actually 16 seconds so it takes 16 seconds to catch up and so in that case um, by that time the second ball would have moved 5 times 16 equals to 80 so 80 meter would be the position from the origin uh, is a place where they meet. Last question, you have initial speed, U initial position. Okay, this is interesting. Experience a constant acceleration. Okay, so this is A, be careful it's negative. Uh, sketch the position time graph. Okay, so it's not calculation directly, but then you may still need to do calculation. Uh, you ex I'll explain later on. So position time graph for this for the first 20 seconds. Okay, so position time graph. Since uh, it actually start off with negative, so I I think it you might need to draw like um, two signs of like negative and both positive domain of the position. So position here. Be careful. Position is literally a point. It's different from displacement. So position time graph and for 20 seconds, so maybe I draw 20 here. And at the beginning, uh, you should start off with negative 75. And then the acceleration is negative 2, 
uh, initial speed is 20. So I think the equation that you may want to, to think about is, uh, first of all, you want to find the displacement after at least, because you, you should know how to end it, right? So that should be S equals to, you have U, you have, you want to find S, you, want, you have T also. So then that should be S equal to UT plus half AT squared. And so the S at 20 seconds would be 20 and also 20 half a is negative 2 and t is 20 and then use your calculator and oh actually I find out it's actually 0 interestingly so it must be a point here and it must be a point here so it's a matter of uh, whether how you draw the line whether would it be a straight line maybe and the answer of course is no because uh, for sure surely you know that um, the slope of the position time graph or displacement time graph should be representing the velocity and since the acceleration is negative 2 so it's non-zero so velocity should be changing and therefore you should not be drawing a straight line so instead of this uh, you should maybe think about whether it is more like this the the green one or maybe the blue one because it's either this right like only two possibilities probably so think about uh, at the beginning you should have a negative velocity sorry not negative uh, it's, it should have a great value magnitude of velocity so in that case if you try to look at the slope of this this will be great and then later on since acceleration is negative so you become less and less and less so then you can imagine it become 18 16 14 etc so then the slope should become less steep right more gentle and more gentle so then in fact i think the green one should be the one to go while blue one is more like acceleration where you have more like zero velocity at the beginning and then you kind of accelerate and increase your speed so at the end you should have a line that is more like this okay